So I wasn't going to make a review on this restaurant originally, but because of the experience that we had there, I just could not resist making a review for this restaurant. So recently, Coda and I, we went to Universal Studios and we decided to dine at a restaurant in CityWalk called Antajitos. And this is a Mexican style restaurant that you can find in CityWalk. It's been open for quite a while now. And I went there not long after they opened. And the f experience that I had there not long after they opened was absolutely fantastic. So I decided to bring Coda there for the first time. She was looking for some place to eat. So was I. So I recommended Antihitos because she is a huge fan of tacos. So decided to go over there. And, you know, I, I, I was I was thinking about making a review at first. And I wasn't going to, but then the experience that we had, like I said, made me change my mind. So, um, Antihitos, wow. Um, all I can say is wow. Uh, this restaurant did not impress us in a good way at all. It did. It it did. It was. Oh my God. It was a terrible, terrible experience. And. I'm going to uh, tell you guys why it is a, it was a terrible experience and why we will not be dining there for a very long time. So uh, we were seated there fairly quickly. Uh, they gave us an estimated wait time of about 20 minutes. We only waited about 10. So that was good. We got our text message. We went back to the restaurant. We got seated fairly quickly. And it took about five or six minutes for our waitress to get to us to take our drink orders. Once she took our drink orders and we knew more or less what we wanted for an appetizer, we went ahead and put that. Our drinks didn't come out for about 10 minutes or so. So that was a little bit of an issue right there. It took our drinks a little while to come out. Um, second of all, our well, the, the, only, the only real positive that we have is that the appetizer came out fairly quickly. We only waited maybe 10 minutes or so for the appetizer. So the appetizer came out and it was really good. Uh, we ordered some nachos and those were absolutely fantastic. I unfortunately don't have a picture of the nachos or a video of the nachos. Again, I wasn't planning on doing a review of this place, so I didn't take any video or anything of us walking in. I didn't take any good video of the downstairs portion. We were sitting upstairs. So yeah, we got some nachos and the nachos were actually really good. We really enjoyed the nachos. That's when the issues really started. Uh, we were sitting in the, we were eating the nachos and I ran out of water and I put my water on the side of the table and I left it there. Our waitress dropped off the nachos. Actually, I don't even think our waitress dropped off the nachos. It was someone else who dropped off the nachos. Um, we didn't see our waitress for almost a solid 30 minutes uh, after she took our order. And even then, I put my drink down, or my, my glass of water down on the side for her to refill it. And we didn't see her for almost 20 minutes. So I was very, very disappointed in that. And then, you know, we waited and waited and waited. We were sitting there for almost a little over an hour before we actually got our entrees. And we finished our appetizer and we were sitting there for about 30 minutes with, with nothing. No, no entrees. We didn't get our waters refilled. Then when we finally, when the waitress finally came back, you know, I asked her for two cups of water with extra ice so that, you know, anticipating her not coming back anytime soon later on in the actual service. So, yeah, she came back with, with a two cups of water, which took about 10 minutes again for some reason. And, you know, her leaving us wouldn't have been so bad if the table next to us, their waitress, didn't come and see them almost every five minutes. Like, their waitress was constantly checking on them. Ours was nowhere to be found, unfortunately, and that really was unfortunate. So it took us a while to get our food. Meanwhile, as it's taken a while for us to get our food, we're kind of eavesdropping on some of the other tables, and some of the other tables are not getting their food orders as well. You know, they're complaining about how long it's taking, and they're getting a little impatient. We were getting a little impatient as well. So finally, our food gets to our table, and Code and I both ordered fajitas. She ordered the chicken fajitas. I ordered the steak fajitas. And typically, now correct me if I'm wrong, but typically when you go to a restaurant and you order fajitas, the the meat and the and the the onions and the peppers, they come out on a skillet that's sizzling. Typically, you can hear your fajitas coming because they are on a sizzling on a sizzling skillet. That didn't that wasn't that wasn't the case. Both of our skillets were not sizzling. And I could tell just by looking at Coda's plate that her food was cold. The chicken just looked v 
it, it just looked off and I could tell it was cold. So I asked Coda to touch it and sure enough, the chicken was cold. It was a little warm, but it was not like hot like it should be, like it was just fresh out of the kitchen. So that was very unfortunate. So the waitress came back and we told her that the that her food was cold. Mine was okay. It was not like really hot, but it was it was it was warm enough for me to to be able to tolerate it and eat it. So they took Coda's back and they nuked it in a microwave, I guess, because it came back like three minutes later and it was a little bit warmer. And then we started eating. My food was was not bad. Uh, the steak was cooked well. The, uh, the the onions and the peppers, everything was seasoned right. The the tortillas that we got were were, were nice and warm, and everything was just it tasted fresh for me. Um, Coda, on the other hand, she started eating, and I didn't think anything of it. You know, of course, I was a little upset that her food was cold. I was actually very upset that her food was cold, so I told her to send it back. Um, so like. She only finished about half of her food before she's like, you know, she didn't want to eat anymore. And I asked her if she wanted to bring some home and she said no. And so she offered me to try some of her some of her chicken. And I tried some of her chicken and I wanted to I wanted to die because her chicken was so dry. I couldn't even finish it. Like I took a bite of the chicken, I chewed it, I couldn't even swallow it. It was just that dry. That is what pissed me off the most is that she was eating dry chicken and you know, it was it was chicken breast, of course, but, you know, it could have been seasoned a little better. It was dry. It was bland. It could have been seasoned a little better, and it could have been moist on the inside at least to make it bearable. But, you know, she wasn't having that big of an issue with it because she was pairing it with the guacamole and some of the salsa and making the the, the fajitas herself. You know, she, she made it work, but that, you know, she, she just didn't really enjoy it at all, and that was so disappointing. So all that you know, taking forever to get our food, the waitress disappearing on us was just an all around very disappointing experience. And then to top everything off, the table that we had mentioned earlier, the table that we had mentioned earlier, they got there before us. Keep this in mind. They got there before us. They got their they got their appetizer and they were sitting there. We had finished our entrees and the table behind us still didn't have their food. They were there before us and they still didn't get their food. Granted, it was a party of five, but they still didn't get their food. By the time we were finished, we were, you know, we just overall very upset with our with our experience. And I had asked our waitress if we could speak to a manager. So meanwhile, the manager is talking to the other table. The manager's talking to the other table. They still hadn't received their food. Someone comes out with their food and the table behind us, they sent it back. They didn't even want the food anymore. They had been waiting almost two hours, and they did not receive their entrees. And that was so heartbreaking because the table that was behind us was celebrating someone's birthday at that table. And I can only imagine how disappointing that must have been to have that kind of an experience at a theme park restaurant, especially one of high caliber such as Antihito's. You know, I held that restaurant to such a high standard. And if they 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 very much so disappointed disappointed us, so we took the time. We spoke to the manager. We, I, you know, I didn't I didn't yell. I was very upset, but I kept it cool, calm, and collected. And I, you know, calmly let her know, you know, the issues that we had and voiced our frustrations. And she did a very. The manager was really nice about it. She did a good job with uh, addressing our concerns and taking care of us. Um, but the, the excuse that she gave us was a little, was a little weird. You know, she, she basically says that a lot of the issues tonight came from upper management and how they've been running the restaurant recently. And she says that, you know, they had a bunch of people that were on the waiting list to get inside the restaurant. And then they decided to seat about 20 groups of people at the same time, like seating 20 people at the same time. So that's 20 people who are getting their drink orders, 20 people who are getting their on or their appetizer orders, 20 people that are having to order entrees and it's just all backing up in the kitchen and that being paired with how understaffed they were just caused a whole domino effect of things to happen and that is something that just cannot happen. 
That's something that absolutely cannot happen. I have never had an experience like this at a restaurant, let alone a theme park restaurant at Universal Studios. I love the restaurants at Universal Studios. I've never had an experience like this before at a restaurant at Universal Studios. And having this experience at a restaurant like Antihito's, one of my favorite restaurants on Universal Studios property, was very disappointing. I hadn't eaten at Antihito's for several years, but the experience that I had the first time made me want to come back when thinking about you know, where I wanted to eat on Universal Studios property. We purposely held off on eating anything inside the parks and we wanted to eat at that restaurant. So overall, it was absolutely a very disappointing experience. And, you know, I wasn't going to, again, I wasn't going to make a review on this restaurant until we started going into this, you know, and start until we started having this experience, you know, because I just had to get this out there to you guys because I don't want you guys going over to this restaurant and being disappointed like we were. Um, I, at this time, I cannot recommend that you guys go to Antihito's. If you guys are at Universal Studios and you're wanting to eat somewhere nice at CityWalk, avoid Antihito's for right now until they get their crap together with their upper management and whatever they have going on. Just avoid Antihito's at all costs right now. Go someplace better like Cowfish. Go to Toothsums. Go to ABC Grill Brew. NBC Grill Brew, I'm sorry. Go to one of those other restaurants and try to avoid Antihitos at all costs because right now they do not have their crap together. And this experience just made me, in good conscience, not be able to recommend this restaurant to anybody. So we will be sure to go back and visit Antihitos at some point in the future to see whether or not they've gotten their their stuff together. Uh, we did go on a Saturday. There is a there's a fly. Um, we did go on a Saturday, so I mean that I guess kind of helped. In their in their misfortune with how many people there were because it was it was busy and Saturday nights are typically busy but that's still no excuse you know on a Saturday you're supposed to be on your top game with the people that you have working how many people you have working and just the overall quality of the food that you're supposed to be putting out on a busy day like a Saturday night so we'll be sure to visit again sometime later in the year maybe next year and we'll be sure to report back to you guys as to how Antihitos has either improved or maintained their poor level of service. All right, guys, so that is our quick review of the Antihitos restaurant at Universal Studios City Walk. Um, again, I cannot recommend that you guys go to this restaurant. Please avoid this restaurant at all costs uh, for the time being until they get their stuff sorted out. Um, if you guys enjoyed this review, I know it's not as glamorous as some of the other reviews that I have with all the videos, but like I said earlier, I was not planning on making a review until we started the experience. So in the middle of our experience, I started taking some video just so that I can have some B-roll for you guys to, to see the restaurant as a whole so that you guys can get an idea more or less of what's going on. So again, if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think um, have you guys eaten there before at Antihitos let me know what your experience was like if you have eaten there or if you do plan on eating there uh, let me know if your plans have changed so with that I am off and I will see you guys in the next video